Welcome back to Book Break. In this video, we are diving into one of BookTube's biggest trends of the moment, reading celebrities' favorite books. This is such a massive trend. It's been going on for months now. So many different booktubers have experimented with reading book lists recommended by their favorite celebrities, or even by each other. But which celebrity has the best book recommendations? Is it perhaps Mariah Carey, who tweeted out a picture of her personal book list, which included such gems as her own memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, which is a really personal autobiography that she wrote. It also included Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid, The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, and Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam. So some really popular books in there. Meg with Book did a vlog where she read a bunch of Mariah Carey's recommendations, so I'll link below to that video, it was really good fun. Some themes that I noticed from this picture is Mariah Carey reads really diversely, which is great. She's got a really good mix of diverse authors in there. She's also got a mix of fiction and non-fiction and quite a few different genres. All the books in this picture share themes. They all tackle really interesting questions about race and about belonging. So I would say Mariah Carey was pretty good taste. Another celebrity who loves reading is Harry Styles. He has been photographed many a time with a book in his hand. Uncarly did a reading vlog reading his recommendations, so I will link to that one below. Harry has actually named three books as being part of his most prized possessions. So there's a collection of Charles Bukowski poetry that he treasures, a collection of poems by Rumi, and also Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. We know that he's a big fan of The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot, and when asked if he could only read one book on repeat for the rest of his life, what would it be? He chose Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. So he obviously loves poetry. He seems to love quite moody books. A lot of male authors he reads, and a lot of these books do contain a lot of sex as well. So that gives a bit of an insight into Harry's mind. Taylor Swift is another celebrity who's talked about books quite a lot and includes a lot of literary references in her songs. I actually myself did a vlog reading Taylor Swift's favourite books, so I will link to that if you want to check it out. Some examples of books that she has referenced. Rebecca is really referenced in the song Tolerate It. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald is referenced in the song Happiness and also in This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things. She has sent interviews that she really enjoyed the book Normal People by Sally Rooney. She has been spotted keeping by her bed a book called Furious Love, which is all about the relationship between Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. And her favourite book when she was growing up was Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. So again, I can see quite a few themes here. She does love romance and romantic books. She likes books about celebrity and individuality. And a lot of these books focus on strong women. So it makes sense for her personality. I can see why these books seem to fit. Kim Nam Joon, or RM, from BTS is also a big reader, and Jack Edwards has filmed a reading vlog reading his favourite book, so I will link to that one below as well. Some examples include Human Acts by Han Kang, Kim Ji Young Born 1982 by Cho Nam Joo, and Armand by Son Won Pyeong. He is also a big Murakami fan, and just like Harry, has specifically mentioned Norwegian Wood, and he said that a book that he rereads a lot is 1984 by George Orwell. So I'm noticing there that he reads a lot of very popular titles. He seems to be really up to date with what's buzzy at the moment. He also reads some classics. 1984 is a very popular favourite book for a lot of people. As of course is Murakami, though that is a more divisive choice. Miley Cyrus has shown off quite a few books on her Instagram, including A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, Cured by Lol Tolhurst, which is a book about the band The Cure, Face It by Debbie Harry, a biography of David Bowie, and a biography of Johnny Cash. So there's a pretty obvious theme here. Miley reads a lot of non-fiction, particularly about musicians, which makes sense. That's the world she lives in. She also seems pretty into self-help. So in general, I think she reads to get to learn more about people. I will link to a vlog below that Mafalda is reading, made of reading some of Miley's favourite books. And let's just look at one more celebrity for now, and that is Olivia Rodrigo. Her book taste is a bit more elusive. She hasn't shown off that many books on her social media, but she has talked about enjoying The Curious Case of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. She's also liked Helium by Rudy Francisco, which is a poetry collection, and The Marvels by Brian Seltznik, which is an illustrated mystery. So there's a real mix of books in there. Olivia Rodrigo is obviously a very creative person, and what all of these books have in common is playing with forms of literature in interesting new ways. So I'm not surprised that she is intrigued by that. 
Carol T. Reads read all of these books and had her own opinions, so I will link to that vlog below as well. Which of these celebrities do you think has the best taste? And are there any other celebrity reading lists you've seen going around that you're really inspired to try? I think it's such a fun trend. I love watching these videos. I always think you can get to know someone so well by looking at the books they enjoy. It's why I always go and nosy around people's bookshelves whenever I go to their houses. So I absolutely love this trend. If you'd like to see us deep dive into even more booktube trends, I will link here to a video we made last Last year all about the top trends on booktube and how they've evolved over time so do click through and have a look at that one and I'll see you next time